Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexual, immoral, and adulterous. Hebrews 13 verse 4. Hey fam bam, it's me, just Londa. Have you subscribed? Have you joined the fam? Join the madness, join the fun. It's me, just Londa. Can we talk that talk? Ask him about his work wife. Oh, you, she hasn't told you about her yet? Uh oh. Uh, uh. So, you know, we talked about the work wives, right? Sorry, work husbands, work husbands. Now we're going to talk about the work wives the work wives should there could there be a problem with work wives i don't know i don't know but we won't we won't we won't we gonna sort this out so give me a second so i'm gonna try to get through them all but if not it is what it is we're just here to have some fun Buckle up, buttercup. Let's run it. You know, so I didn't know this was like an actual thing. I've been hearing about it like more and more lately, whatever. So this whole work wife, work husband thing is like a real thing. Like, okay, so I was working at this yeah. job. I'm not going to say the job. And it was these two people, right? One had a husband and one had a significant other. And it kind of started off like, like a crush. But then they started going up to lunch together every day. And I was like, oh. Wait, one had a wife and one had a significant other and it started out as a crush. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. And then it got to where they was intimate. Like they was doing this on our lunch breaks and they... Wait, hi. Hi y'all. One has a whole wife. One has a whole wife at home. How are you doing that and the other has a significant has a partner has a whole partner soul ties are real people this is why some people have problems going down the aisle this is why some people have problem with cheating over and over and over again it's so ties that's like this cardi b thing that and now they they've broken up again or whatever again they they're doing their thing again and i had like a little bit of rank so they could come back from lunch late late fast forward it turned into a whole like thing to where now people don't fell in love now mind you people got a whole like wait 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 how you mean they falling in love you can't fall in love. You've already said I do to someone. You already have a significant other. But you're falling in love and... Spouses and stuff. And I just could not understand. So when I left the job years later, I come to find out they were still fooling around with each other. They're not together now from what I know. But I just did not know. Because, you know, they was like, oh, that's my work wife that's my work whatever whatever and i was just like oh, okay not a big deal until it like grew into something bigger oh she was just thinking that they were just talking like you know that's that's my cousin and not really my cousin because y'all just friends and y'all been hanging around so much all together y'all call each other cousins she thought i can see that oh, i can see that and i just could not understand it and somebody was like well you gotta think about it like this you go to work for like eight hours a day so yes. a lot of times you see these people more than you see your spouse and i was like what so you mean to tell me yes that's how the enemy tries to jump in and try to take territory especially on a marriage the devil does not want y'all to have a proper marriage and because you are a way at work for eight hours a day 40 hours a week you're only able to spend time with boo i mean 
you got two regular days so you got your saturday and sunday you get off from work uh let's say you work from nine to six right which are our lunch break but you're with your work wife for eight hours and you're going to lunch with them okay that's if you're going out to lunch with them but then you you get off at six o'clock right you get home you fix dinner or your fixed dinner all things said and done at seven o'clock seven o'clock you eat you wash up and you make the small chit chat by eight o'clock you're tired you're tired you are tired you're exhausted because you have to get back up and do it all over again god forbid if you and boo are on different schedules if he has to be the work at five o'clock in the morning and you have to be at work at nine o'clock in the morning so that time is even shorter that y'all spend together if any time at all so technically you have two days saturday and sunday possibly friday possibly so the enemy will find a way to get in find a way that's why it's really important to establish that relationship first and go from there it's i i get it it's hard out there but both of y'all have different expectations of what y'all want in a marriage like i hear what men say and i hear what women say and there's two different expectation what both of y'all y'all both want a partner you don't want to be that old lady in the club because you have no one to go home to but a bunch of cats and dogs you don't want to be a uh, Romy Rome an older version of Romy Rome in the club hitting on these young girls and they're like you don't want to be that same person that doesn't have a family to go home to to celebrate Christmas uh, Thanksgiving New Year's things like that now I get it you know you'll go over to your aunt's house and things like that uh, your aunt has a family of her own. She has her own children and her husband. You have to get yours too. You can cheat Sorry, at work and lie. make money and you come home like nothing happened? Okay, so I'm kind of messy. Can y'all put in the comments if y'all ever heard of like a work wife, work husband situation blowing up bigger than what it was? yeah yeah and uh if 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 london don't be too long maybe maybe she'll share a story or two that work wife and work husband shit it's not no joke for real i just witnessed some of the most devious shit go on firsthand i had to i had to tell my manager hey, i'm gonna go to, I'm, I'm gonna go to the car real quick because i gotta i gotta go get my notebook or whatever right i just had to come up with a lie so i could come talk about this because this shit was crazy right so boom this is what happened so i get to work right and then there's there's this new server lady that i had never seen because i've only been at this job for like two weeks you know i got a new job every other month but basically i, I never oh uh, he's a professional job hunter he has a job every other month a new job every other month he needs to tell me his tricks of the trade so i can spread that to my son <laughs> seen this lady right and i was like yeah i've been here for two weeks why well, haven't i never seen you and she was like oh i was away on like a little trip or something okay and i was like oh okay that's what's up that's what's up and basically you know after being there for a couple of minutes you know i kind of get an understanding of what had happened basically this lady got married right because she was going okay. up and down the restaurant showing everybody her ring she was oh, she telling everybody her about ring. her honeymoon and how she had a great time and her, and her husband how he bought her a that's car what's up. that's you know, what's he up. got himself a new truck she was being all types of happy right all types of happy and i was like okay 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 shit. i understand you know this lady was away because she she was on her honeymoon but then this other dude walks into work this other dude walks into work and i know him he's cool people right well i guess i thought he was cool people 
But as soon as she sees him, she runs into this man's arm. I'm telling you, she sprints. Like, she turns around, sees him. She, like, her face lights up, right? She runs to him, jumps in his arms, and he grabs her. Like, he... So you just got finished talking about you walk down the aisle, you flash in your ring, you just got off the honeymoon bliss. Oh boy comes walking through the door. You smile and you start sprinting towards his way. You just got finished telling people that you got married, showing off your ring. You know how y'all do. You know how he did. You did. You're showing off your ring at work. And the old boy comes in and that's out the door. <laughs> you just out the door. Like you don't care about it at all. Okay. He hugs her and he spins her around like he's twirling her around. Her hair is flying like her legs are flying. Like you could have sworn that these were the motherfuckers that got married, right? I was kind of... I was a little thrown off by this whole situation, and then they. So he spins you around like y'all in a fairy tale. Why did you say I do in the first place? I need to scoot over. Sorry, I'm in another location. My mom's getting her uh, kitchen done over, and uh, my space is being occupied nevertheless why did you get married in the first place pumpkin i'm confused if this man makes you smile from ear to ear you're cheesing and obviously he likes you because he picks you up spins you around oh boy says that you would have thought that y'all two had gotten married how, how can you say I do to a person you don't really do? The love and to cherish, honor, obey, death do us part, richer, poorer. Sorry, my eyebrow itch. Those things, you don't recall saying those things? See, you are the people that says that uh, <laughs> marriage is a contract. <laughs> marriage is a contract. We're giggling. And they were laughing, holding hands. Like this man was grabbing up on her, you know. They were like whispering, whispering in each other's ears. Like it was just... This was just within five minutes of them being together. And then they were already planning on going to grab drinks and everything, this and that. She's like, yeah, I just got to tell my husband that I'm going to close today. Cause oh, so you already starting off the bad foot. You were already lying to your husband. <laughs> because you want to spend time with your work husband. So you're going to go ahead and lie to your real husband. To spend time with your work husband you putting yourself in dangerous situation because you know what he probably got a girl too he probably got a girl too and if she's psycho then what because what you're going to do is say oh no no it's nothing like that i'm married no 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 not the way he picked you up and spent you around your holy hands making time he doesn't even care about you. If he cared about you, he would have been to the wedding and stopped it. He would have been, he, he would have pulled a Dwayne Wayne. Will you? Best it on those who ask the questions, brother. Really? Oh. I love you, and if you have me, I will you for my wife. What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, Bob, and I love her. Let him go, man. Will you have me, Dwayne, as your lawfully wedded husband from this day forth to having a whole and richer, for poorer? Baby, please, please. I do. 
I'm just saying. Uh, I think we're gonna get cut early, and then you know that'll give us like two, three hours to go grab drinks. And I'm just baffled. I'm just baffled. Like I understand that this is a real thing. You know, it's not just like a little joke. But this bitch just got back from her honeymoon. She was just showing off her ring. Just showing and it off. And as soon as she saw this dude, like he's. I know he's pissed because he's like, what? Am I just working into? What am I working into? Spinning her around, they're laughing, they're giggling, they're throwing jokes. He's grabbing up on her. I'm, I'm talking about he's grabbing on the cheeks and everything. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, oh, I missed you. I haven't seen you in forever. And then she shows him the ring and then he laughs. He's like, oh, that's the ring he got you. So <laughs> he tries to insult your husband by saying, oh, that's the ring that he bought you. Both of y'all work at the same place. Could you have done much better? Like, I'm confused. You should not let... You You should have corrected him right then and there. Because now he think he has a leg up over your husband. And he doesn't. He really doesn't. But it's your fault because you allow him in your space in your heart where your husband should be and then she's like stop playing like why are you gonna be that way <sighs> fellas ladies make sure i'm not saying everybody's like this but make sure that the person that you're with is actually with you for real yes is actually with you for real because because you don't want to find out that your bitch is out here embarrassing you at, at work like that when you're not in front of her or you, you know you don't want to find out that your man is doing you like that. You don't want you don't want to be the the woman of a man who's out here twirling bitches on the clock on the motherfucking clock. Cause see, I'm I'm the wife that pops up on their husband. I call my husband a stalker, cause he is he is. He'll pop up on me in a hot second. I don't care. He's my husband, but I'll pop up on him too. <laughs> A boy up here with a work wife. Hold on, hold on, they coming. <laughs> hey, so lovers. Messy. That's crazy. Having a work wife or a work hubby is the most outlandish, inevitable thing in life. You got a wife at work and you got a wife at home. That's like going to school, doing work, and then coming home, having homework. Me, I can never do no shit like that. That shit is just, that's doing too much. It's for the I ain't about to come to work every day with somebody I'm involved with. Look, do not have no work wife. Do not have no work hubby. That shit weird. And I said inevitable because we spend more time at work than we do at the crib. So you're gonna be around your work husband or work wife more than around your family and your real wife or your real husband. Especially if you have to pull overtime, if you have a job where you have to pull mandatory overtime. So you're there with them for eight hours plus. My boyfriend has a work wife and I hate it. My boyfriend and I have been together for four years, but three of those have been long distance. I know. And I've never had a re- <laughs> She's been with her boyfriend for three, for four years, but three of them were long distance. I already smelled the problem. Now granted, my husband and I did do the long distance relationship for a moment because he went into the military. But he got out. He, he got out like after we ended up pregnant. Yeah. I wasn't expecting him to get out. That's not what I, yeah, because they actually shipped them off to Germany when we found out we were pregnant and I was like, this ain't happening. <laughs> but you know what? I'm so glad that God worked things out. Like I am not the same person that I was, but yeah. For four years, you were with someone, and out of the four years, three of them were long distance. 
Now, depending how long distance this relationship is, because I'm talking South Carolina and Georgia, and every weekend, Boo would come and see me every weekend, every weekend, and he would stay with me. So, depending, it could work, depending and not to trust him and all of that time being apart he's a pretty trustworthy guy he's always honest with me i've never caught him in a lie and all that time we were apart i've never gotten a little hey girly message on instagram so i thought everything was fine until three months ago now if i am two things it's a yapper and nosy so when we have our cute little <laughs> nightly facetime calls i tell him everything about my day and i want to know everything about his day now he's been working at his company for about two years and that's good that they talk that's good that they have good open communication because that's very very important and his work wife let's call her lisa has been working there for five years they work in the same department which is pretty small so they've obviously known each other for quite a while so the fact that i had never heard about this woman until three months ago pretty suspicious so three months ago, out of thin air, this woman appears in my boyfriend's life. I mean, like, obviously, she's been there the whole time, so why only now is he talking about her? I don't know. But he's talking about how he's so lucky to have found such a good friend at work, how she's so kind, how the workday is so much more fun with her around. That's when you sit back and start taking mental notes, because if he's able to tell you these things he may not see the trap that she's setting up for him and i mean the work wife or work girlfriend is setting up for him because you know some men are naive my husband is very naive and i'm there to always to snap it out just like that <laughs> My husband's very naive, um, but so she's she's a good listener. So she's listening, and I'm pretty sure she's taking mental notes. And honestly, I didn't really have an issue with the whole thing because I want him to be happy. I want him to have friends. And again, I've never had a reason not to trust him until sure. he started referring to her as his work wife. The first time my boyfriend used the term work wife to describe Lisa, I was like, "Whoa, okay, <laughs> slow down, stop." Okay, let's rewind that back. What what are you talking what about? What you talking Since about? Since when have you been referring to this woman as, as your work wife? He said about three months after he started working there, people in his department started to tease them that they would be a really cute couple. They started assigning them to be on projects together. People are teasing y'all that y'all would be a good couple. Well, do they not know that you've been in a three year long relationship with this person? Four years. Four years and three of them was long distance. Four years, three of them were long distance. So do not other people know this about your boyfriend or whatever, whoever he is to you? The fact that other people can say that, that's a problem. That's a problem because that means he's not speaking of you. My husband will say wife this, wife that, wifey, wifey this, wifey that. Oh, I need to see wifey, wife that, wife this, wife that. Or the wife. I have to see the wife. I have to check the wife. Let me go grab the wife. He'll be like, the wife. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's just me, but I found that a bit suspicious that they are pairing up Oh Girl and Yobo together when he's already in a relationship. So that they would have to get closer and always work together. And it worked. They became really close to the point that Lisa now packs my boyfriend's lunch every day. Oh, I know you lying. I'm on first flight. <laughs> let me let my job know that um, 
I'm taking some time off. I'm on the first flight and I'm not letting you know that I'm coming. I'm just gonna pop up on you. I'm either on the first flight out there or me and Naomi, we, we gone. Me and Naomi, we're gone. Naomi is my uh, uh, journey. Or it could be me and Natasha. Natasha is the Durango. So Naomi or Natasha, one of them, we're going and we're going to go sort stuff out. Because what way to a man's stomach, what way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And the only other thing is through having intimacy. So you feed them an intimacy. Yeah, they want someone else with a, another connection, but for the most part, these two, these two, okay. Of course there's more, of course there's more. Crazy I'm finding out about this a year and seven months later. He says it's really sweet. Apparently every day she asks what he wants for lunch the next day or what he's been craving and just like that, it appears that I she set him up and he didn't know it. He did not know that he was a fly in a spider web. He didn't know. Boy, those spirits. Stay for lunch. And when this man tells me about the lunches, I lose. I go off on him. I don't. I feel betrayed. I feel like you're cheating on me. And he thinks that that's absolutely crazy. He's like, what? If you're spending ample amount of time with a person, you're already spending, you're already spending eight hours with this person on your one free hour, your one free hour, you gonna spend it with that same person? You already work with that person, you're doing special projects with that person, and now you're taking lunch together. What are you talking about? She's just my friend, she's being nice. And I was like, tell me how. You tell me everything about your day. Because this man's a yapper too. This man is a yapper. You tell me absolutely everything about your day, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. I know about all your other co-workers, but you've just failed to mention this specific one who is making you lunch every day so he knows that is wrong too got it you're hiding it you were hiding it from me yep he says that absolutely nothing is going on between them but i told him i've never made lunch for any man that's not my boyfriend or a family member because it's weird also the fact that his whole office was making jokes hold on <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on so hi i'm just londa i'm a wife i'm a mother and i pretend to be a chef or a cook and if i really love you or i really care about you I'll feed you. Hold on, let me explain. So, you know I said if I really love you or I really like you. Well, it was a job that I had that I would bring food in for my co-workers around me that I really didn't know too much, but I kind of cared for them. Me getting to know them, I cared for them. So I would bring in like small stuff. So if I had um, leftovers, I would bring it in for my co-workers and let them taste it. One day I was getting something done to my tire and the guy was pissed off but i was being super nice to him and he was like you know what because you're being such a sweetheart and i know i was being a butthole i'm going to go ahead and give you a discount on top of the discount that you already get i was like oh i said well you know what 
I will bring you cookies. I will bake you cookies. Now, I had already had in mind that I was going to bake these cookies. It just so happens that I'm going to bring him some as well. And I sure enough did. So it's more like an act of service, how I show acts of service, acts of love. Show appreciation. Yeah. Yeah, show, I like to show appreciation through food. And if I really love you, ask my cousin Lottie. If I really love you, I'll pull out the shebang for you. I'll pull out the shebang for you. Other than my family now, my family knows, my family knows. It's about how they would look good together. Like, did you not think to tell me that? I get, I get that he didn't want me to feel jealous or something, but like, I'm sorry, when it's gotten to a point where she's making you lunches, maybe you need to tell me, babe. So I've actually pushed up the date that I'm gonna go visit him because I think that I need to meet Lisa. You know, totally. have a little face-to-face -face girl time, really see what she's about because it doesn't really seem like she's a girl's girl. And if I even have one inkling that- No, 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 she is a girl's girl. Because, you know, I've noticed girls don't care. There's no girl code. There's no girl code. Women would rule the world. You would think women would rule the world, but, but they don't, they don't. You know why? Because women hate women. <laughs> women hate women. You do. If you get any two girlfriends in this room, been girlfriends for 25 years, you put a man in between them, fuck that bitch, fuck that bitch. That went out the door ages ago. Y'all don't care about that. <laughs> you want her man. And he could have been talking about you. And she's like, ooh, he seems like a good guy. I want her man. Y'all know Chris Rock talked about, about that. It's the joke. If a woman introduces her new man to her girlfriend, when they walk away, her girlfriend goes, I gotta get him. <laughs> and I will slit that bitch's throat to do it. But you want her man because he's probably a good man and she sees it. My boyfriend's been cheating on me with Lisa for the last two years. Boop, boop, boop. It's not gonna be good for him. I know that's right. Her, her either. All of them can catch it. I think I got a few, I do have a few more, let me see. That's a mistake you learned the hard way that you can now help people to avoid. I want to save this video so you can go ahead and watch it later because what I'm about to say is as true as the gospel. Do not let your real wife ever meet your work wife. I'm not talking about a workplace romance. I'm talking about your workplace bestie. Person besides your actual wife that you spend the most time with. Because the problem is both of those two people have equally incriminating evidence against you. They do. My work wife's name is Joey. He's a 38 year old combat veteran with mild PTSD and a general hatred for people. <laughs> Our bromance is fueled off of nicotine and caffeine, but there's a whole other video about that. Because if you make the unfortunate mistake of letting those two people meet, the only thing that they have in common is you. But there's two different versions of you. True. For the love of God, do not let either of them hold your phone. Because if your actual wife sees the group chat that you're involved with, there's a good chance she's going to leave you. And if your work wife or your bestie sees the text messages that your real wife sends you, he's probably going to start whispering in your ear how you probably should leave her. It's a delicate tightrope walk keeping both of them happy. My ex-work wife doesn't even talk to me anymore. Him and his real wife filed for divorce, and I'm pretty sure I was naming it the deposition. Love something, let it go. It doesn't matter. He's in a better place now. I'm saying you see all these videos and all these movies of all these people getting together with their friends and family on the weekend just like Admiral Akbar said it's a trap <laughs> <laughs> typically they don't meet they don't meet typically they, they don't meet because that's when the real problem begins Ask him about his work wife. Oh, she hasn't told you about her yet? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So my real wife knows about my work wife. Because I go to work and I spend the day working and hanging out with my work wife. Me and work wife talk about our day, we rant and vent about stuff, and then we go home. 
And then when I get home, I spend time with real wife. Right. Real wife and myself, we talk about our day to include the stuff that I talked with work wife about. Makes sense. Because in my relationship with real wife, there is no secrets. Very good. To the point that as soon as I could, I introduced real wife and work wife to each other. And my real wife absolutely loves Matt. (laughs) The work wives are men. Okay. Okay. Now, see, those type of work wives, I can get. I can get. I used to say that about uh, one of Ray's uh, buddy he met. And I call him son now. Um, he's not even old enough to be, well, young enough to be my son. He's old enough to be like my baby brother. But I call him son. And I used to be like, eh, <laughs> your bike wife is out there. <laughs> your bike wife is rubbing up the engine. <laughs> your bike wife says, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, yeah. Those are the ones I can, yeah, I can, I can see those. And uh, this will be my last one. So I met my husband's work wife yesterday. I friggin' love her. <laughs> so my husband invited her and her husband and their kid over for a barbecue, which is amazing because I've lived in Mississippi for almost three years and I have not made one mom friend because I don't leave the house that much. So me too. it was amazing to find someone who is pretty much exactly like me. Also, we both have been diagnosed with ADHD and OCD and have similar intrusive thoughts and tics. And so it's really nice to connect with someone who feels and goes through the same things that I do on a daily basis. I can hear that. And when we talked, it was like this no bullshit kind of talking, not superficial. It was on a much deeper level. And I have missed that for like years now because all my best friends are 1800 miles away and this means so much to me oh like you have no idea i it's it's emotional and we're both emotional people now this one i can stand behind because they pretty much have boundaries see that's the thing y'all lost the boundaries and y'all throwing sheets to the wind you're sitting there you're cheating and things like that when it shouldn't even be like that this is a work relationship when it's all said and done you wouldn't know this person if y'all didn't work together that's not someone that you would have had a commitment with so yeah and her husband is like the biggest most kindest teddy bear ever and him and my husband just like hit it off so we each got a friend amazing like this work marriage is perfect because it brought like four people together i even stored her in my phone as her name and then brandon's work wife yeah and i'm sure there'll be some people that'll be like oh you better watch out because work wife relationships i've had that before i've heard of that mm. no i love my husband i trust my husband and okay. if you saw them together like you would know that their love story was the best so I'm not worried and I'm just so excited that I finally have a friend so anyways yay well I'm glad that ended out on a good note you know what I'm saying sometimes there is just that friendship relationship and the only reason why they are called work spouses is because they are opposites you know one's male one's female so I'm glad that you know it's nothing more than a friendship it's nothing more than that but comment down below let me know what y'all think about these work wives work girlfriends situations um this i am way past my 20 minute mark so i cannot um give y'all a story this time Maybe in the next go round, I'll have a story, but I am going to bring a wife on here. She is a pastor's wife and she's been married for 38 years, I believe. So we're going to have like a little small chit chat, things like that. So stay tuned, you know, 
comment down below rate subscribe all that stuff um, I feel like I'm missing something that I want to say I'm not sure but just comment down below so just thank you for watching rate and subscribing all that good jazz to make me feel so warm and fuzzy inside peace and peace bye and if you missed out on the work wives or who's not paying bills anymore now and down at the bottom it's a cheat code <laughs>